Well, Peter, I'm Bob Clays, and I'm a research and development director within Kinepolis. Uh, my mother and my uncle were the founders of Kinepolis, so I go way back to the early days. And uh, so I'm involved with everything what's uh, technologically, technologically going on in the company. Thank you. And um, can you tell me more, a bit more about Kinopolis? Because uh, coming from the UK, I've not heard of the brand before, but I believe that it's quite big here in Europe or on this side of the channel uh, within Europe. Well, uh, Kinepolis is a group. We're now present in uh, Belgium, which is our main country, it's our mother country. Uh, we're also in France and Spain, and we have one complex in uh, Switzerland. Um, we're a company, uh, we started back in 1988 with our first Kinepolis complex, which was in Brussels. And what was quite unique at that time was the size of our complexes. We always tried to make very big megaplexes. Uh, Kinepolis Brussels was a 24-plex with an IMAX theater. And I think you can say our trademark was uh, the fact that we uh, tried to achieve the best, the highest possible technical quality as possible in our auditoriums. We had the stadium seating, THX, uh, the lot. Okay, so um, with the uh, multiplex, it sounds like with having the IMAX there to begin with and the stadium seating, uh, you're always thinking about the experience for the audience. Um, would you say that's true? And what does um, the experience for the audience mean to you um, at Kinopolis? Well, for me, it's, it's quite simple. Uh, when a customer sees a film, he's looking at a dream. He needs to live that dream. And the only way he can actually live that dream is by showing him that dream in the best possible way. Now, if you are into a very specific scene and you're being detracted by sounds of uh, adjacent theaters or uh, bad image quality or cracks in the sound, you are not going to be able to live the dream the way the director was supposed it, how he wanted it to be. So we figured that, that one out quite early. So we've always focused heavily on technology, technology. Uh, first digital systems that came out, we had them. Uh, first uh, sound systems, of course. Uh, when the first digital projectors came out, we were there. So it's very important that the customer lives the dream as intense as he can. Okay, so um, my quest is to find the secrets of uh, 4K um, and to understand more about 4K. Obviously, 2K projectors are um, becoming well established across the industry at the moment, um, but 4K is, is here. Um, so what are your thoughts on, on 4K and the 2K sort of argument that's starting? Um, of course, I'm, I'm, I'm very uh, curious to see our when Barco is going to give us our first 4K projector to start playing around with it, and I'm, I kind of look forward to that. Well, I have to be quite honest about that. If you, if you look at a PowerPoint presentation where you look at the specs of a 4K installation and you compare it to a 2K installation, you blow them literally away. Strangely enough, though, when we did shootouts, in theaters where we put the same image on a 4K projector, 2K projector, and we looked at those images, the difference, the, per, the difference in perception isn't that phenomenal as you would think in the specs. So I'm trying to keep my foot on the ground and we'll see how, how it goes, but it's not something that with the experience I've had so far that I'm really shouting off the rooftop, uh, we want 4K. Of course, we will be amongst the first to have them and to, to try them out, but with what I've seen so far, I'm, 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 I'm not so sure about the, 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 the real added value. That's a personal opinion. 